Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 47, and this is the last war of the season. Number 12. And we don't have to deal with this mess. Of course, we'll probably have to deal with some other mess. Because apparently, Kabam was happy. Everybody else hated the meta, but they are happy with what it's doing. So that lets me know that they want us not to like it. Now, they may say something different, you know, call it more challenging, more difficult, and all that good stuff. But when you have a bunch of people complaining about something and you say, oh, yes, it's working as intended, perfect, just what we planned, what else am I going to think? Anyway, never really liked Alliance War, and it don't look like it's going in a direction that's going to make me like it anymore. But anyway, we're going up against an alliance called Chosen One. They are Platinum One. So we're most likely locked into Platinum Two at this point. And I don't believe we are going to be going for the win. Uh, let me let me check really quick and see if anybody mentioned something here. Um, we have our own little chat. But he usually, let's see. Oh, boy. Hold up. Okay. So I'm going to look at this, but then we're going to do something a little bit different because they are, uh, apparently there is a problem and we might need to switch paths. Um, so all of my planning here is probably going to go out the window. Um, but let me see first who we got here. All right. So already Magneto, we know that. And then we've got these two who I could bring pretty much anybody that's a good counter for them. So Magneto, Hulkling, and possibly, uh, Nick Fury would do my path just fine. Looks like. All right. However. Let me see, because someone, I don't think he has uh, the champs uh, for this. Let me see. All right, so he is looking at, let me see. Um, middle path, yeah, he's looking at this one right here, this fight. He has he he has a, a trouble with this fight here. So what he is saying is that I can take. Hold on, let me see. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't see um, who was banned. Uh, we've got Ghost, Scorpion and Shuri, who are banned. Okay, so for this guy, they are, I mean, for uh, that domino, they are considering Nimrod? Hmm. See, he used Hulkling. See, EMP mod, so I'd need to bring Odin as well. Huh. Shocker. See, Lady Deathstrike with Odin. Ew. Huh. Okay, yeah, I, I don't think I want to deal with that. Um, they're talking about Lady D with Odin. So that would, um, well, I could then use Nick Fury for these two and bring Lady D and Odin and an invulnerability bo boost, I guess. I don't know about that. Mm. 
Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that'll work. Okay. Yeah, Lady D might. All right. So. And then somebody else is needing some help for that. Okay. So he's like, I can take fam and maw in section two, path three. What do you think about Zemo? Use Hulkling and Domino with Lady D. Yeah, but see, if I have to take that Zemo, and he's saying Hulkling, I wouldn't have any room for um, Odin. Yeah, okay, he's he's saying that now. I'm following the conversation that we have. He'll need Odin for the pre-fight. Okay, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. But what it's looking like is Nick Fury for that path for sure. And then for this path, if I take path three, it'll be Magneto. Um, and Hulkling. Actually, Nick Fury can do... Yeah, Nick Fury could do that... Um, I might bring somebody else in for that that uh, Ebony Maw. Uh, instead of Hulkling, I may just bring in like Spider-Man 2099. Um, who else uh, might I take? I don't know. Maybe Spider-Man 2099. Maybe uh, Titania. Haven't used her in a bit. Um, so we'll see. But that's if I take that. So Titania or Spider-Man 2099, Magneto and uh nick fury but if they want me to swap over for this uh nimrod and domino looks like i would need domino i mean i would need lady deathstrike and odin but then dealing with this uh zemo i think i said nemo uh zemo yeah i don't i don't know about that we'll have to talk about this one Let me see. What are her nodes? Yeah, the placebo. Yeah. I hate power gain uh, nodes. But I think he's been dying like once every time against against her. With the champs he has. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see why I would need Odin. All right, we'll talk about it a little bit more, um, but that's what we're looking at right now. All right, so we'll be back with the fighting. Okay, going in with Magneto, Spider-Man 2099, and Nick Fury. Now, after all of that discussion, um, we really didn't have a good, neither one of us had a great option. So, one of the officers, the officer who um, sets the plans and everything, said he'll come in and take that fight, and we're just doing our paths as normal. Now, I was assigned uh, a Rentra fight with my Spider-Man 2099, and he was telling me how to do the fight, and it seemed like that was going to be an interesting fight. You know, parry heavy four times in the beginning, get the exhaustions on, evade to pause him and then just hit into his block that seemed to be the way to do that uh fight um not rentra um mangog i had a mangog fight uh but if you looked at how much time we have left uh i came in late and they had already cleared it like i said we were not really planning on putting in a lot of effort. I think I mentioned uh, that earlier. If I didn't, that was what the decision was to uh, not put in any uh, effort. We're locked into Platinum 2, so whatever. Now look at this. Now watch this, guys. Watch this. All right, now. 
I was sitting here. You notice anything funny? I got my my um, third bar. But do you notice anything? I actually was stunned for a second because I did ba 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 boom hit my special, and I sat back and was like, okay, he's done. But yet I'm like, wait a minute, something wrong. That's not that's not Nick Fury's special. No, that was Rentra's special. I said, are you kidding me? You mean to tell me that I did a five hit combo, smashed my special, and he fired his special off? Wow. Which is why I use Nick Fury. Because even had Nick Fury been low on health, I still had an, an extra life. So I could tank at least one special three, and from him, I could tank two special threes, as long as I didn't mess up. All right, now this one, straightforward fight. We've got Nick Fury in here, bleeding him down. That's all, just bleeding him down. I'm trying to evade and avoid the decks, as you can see. See, dashing back. And I don't think I triggered decks at all in this fight. I don't think I did. So I didn't have to worry about it getting nullified and um, giving me the shock so he can backslap me. Um, I still love that backslap. It just, I, man, it was just awesome. But anyway, uh, so we're just tearing it up. But again, we already know how this war is going to turn out. By the time I uh, entered the war, they had a sizable lead. And uh, like I said, we, we weren't going to really try. This fight here um, is a standard fight. Now, the uh, Ebony Maw fight with Spider-Man 2099, I have to practice more. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 does not get any buffs. So unless I hit into his fault or when he gets faltered, if I, you know, let him get falter, um, if I hit into him while I'm faltered, I'll catch a D gen. And if I get hit with his heavy, I'll catch a D gen. Other than that, I shouldn't really be D genning. But as you'll see in that fight, I don't know. I don't know um, what was happening. So we're going to watch it together and see if we can figure out where all my, my health went. Because it was really odd. But I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, I was too busy fighting. So I wasn't paying attention to what uh, he was doing. Alright. So we already know about that fight. That fight is straightforward. I also like the fact that um, I can do this all in one go. You know, all in one go, all in one boost set. Saves me some resources. Very nice. All right. Now, I thought about bringing Titania in. I really did. Um, if I had a seven-star Titania, absolutely. Absolutely, Titania would be in here. All right. So here we go. All right. Parry. All right. So here we go. Now, of course, you know, I have the recall masteries on. So, of course, I'm getting um, that damage. Okay. Okay. That might be all that it was. I don't know. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure I didn't get any, because I didn't see myself getting any extra uh, DJ. Okay. That's what it was. All right. Then this went uh, perfectly fine. Yeah. Okay. I thought I had... Um, caught some degen somehow but no it was just the uh bleed poison and then uh my special um triggered the recoil so we're good yeah see here 34 percent um <laughs> was the recoil and i was supposed to use him in another fight but as you'll see right here um and i did ended up uh, end up helping on that korg and finishing him off but you see right there that zero, 
that was where that um, Mangog was. He was on that node. But I actually um, moved to a place where I could help because I was looking and I was like, he might need some help on, on this fight. So um, I didn't record it, but I went in with, um, with Magneto first. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, he should last a little bit longer, um, but it's a um, uh, incinerate. Was it um, incinerate poison, I think? But anyway, the incinerates took me out. But guess who got him? In the end, Nick Fury. Nick Fury was able to finish him off, was able to last long enough to finish him off. All right, we'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won. I'm kidding. I'm joking. We lost. We knew we were going to lose. We were not putting in any extra effort. It is very fortunate that we didn't get matched up with this Platinum One Alliance when we were like on the border of Platinum Two and Three. We're locked into Platinum Two. We weren't going to put in the extra effort, save our resources for the next season. That was what the uh, decision was. All right, but anyway, you can see here, shout out to our MVPs as always. All right, so that's gonna do it guys. Take care, hit the like button if you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. We are happy to be done with this meta, let me tell you, but cautiously, because they've already said they liked where war was at, but they also said that they're gonna be separating the tier one and the tier two maps. So let's hope because we're in tier two and we're doing just the same as tier one in terms of difficulty. So let's see what they do. Anyway, take care and you all have a blessed day.